Thank you. So um, this morning, Warren talked about uh, some stochastic optimization problems in, in uh, energy and electricity area. I'll be talking about a specific tool, Map Power, um, that can be used to simulate and optimize um, electric power. Um, and I'll start with some, some background on, on what Map Power is, and then I'll talk about some of the kinds of problems that it can solve. Um, so Map Power is a set of free, open source, steady state power system simulation and optimization tools. Um, including some of the, the basic problems that, that to steady state um, power systems that, that I'll be talking about in a minute. It's available at the URL there. It's implemented in MATLAB. It's compatible with the free uh, MATLAB clone Octave. has interfaces to state-of-the-art solvers like CPLEX and Gurobi and Nitro and others. Um, it's used worldwide for teaching and research as well as in industry. And I like to think of it as a research enabling tool. Um, the, its impact is evidenced by the number of citations of our 2011 paper and uh, roughly 20,000 downloads per year is what we're seeing now. That's not eBird or Merlin, but I think it's pretty respectable for a, a power systems tool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it began about 20 years ago as the uh, underlying AC optimal power flow tool used to clear markets for PowerWeb, which was a power market testing platform. Um, was first publicly released in 97, versions 1 and 2, and then for about eight years, the development focused on uh, internal improvements for PowerWeb until we released version 3 in 2005. And then over the next 10 years, a number of additional features were added and we switched to a, an explicit open source license. We're using the BSD license. But one of the biggest improvements was the addition of realistic test cases um, that were donated by others, including the Polish system, some French and European systems, up to about 13,000 buses. Um, most recently, MapPower 6, first beta version, was released, which includes the MapPower Optimal Scheduling Tool, which I'll be talking about in a minute. Um, we've seen about 1,400 downloads of that since the 1st of June. And the, the combination of the the so software, the, the code, which is open, easy to understand and customize and includes the high performance solvers and the ready to use data in one downloadable package, that has resulted in uh, MapPower becoming a somewhat of a de facto standard benchmark platform for both uh, power systems research and also by, um, by those who are simply working on optimization um, are also um, using MapPower. So, Power flow and continuation power flow. What, what is, what is the, the power flow problem? So start out, you have a, a network of uh, nodes, which we call buses and branches that connect them, transmission lines or, or transformers. You have consumers or loads withdrawing power at certain nodes. You have suppliers or generators injecting power at other nodes. And the node voltages determine the flows in the branches. And then we have the Kirchhoff's current law, which simply says that the, the flows out of a node on the branches have to be equal to the net injection, the generation minus demand at that node. So the quantities that we're talking about here are the steady state voltages, currents, and, and powers, for example, are roughly um, sinusoidal. So we represent them by phasors. So these are complex numbers. And the, that Kirchhoff's current law then results in a complex power balance equation with NB complex equations, two NB complex unknowns, or if you um, switch to, to uh, real, it's twice, twice as many. And here NB is the number of buses, and in the, um, in the east, eastern interconnect, that can be about 80,000, depending on the level of detail that's, um, that's used to model it. So the power flow problem then is essentially <laughs> rearranging these terms um, in terms of real variables and, and constraints assigning values to about half of the variable uh, to half of the variables and solving for the other half so we're we're fixing generation schedules and voltages and solving for for uh, the other voltages and, and uh, voltage angles and so on in the network so this is a nonlinear um, problem that's typically solved by a, a Newton, Newton method um, the continuation power flow problem then is essentially solving the same the power flow problem um, a sequence of power flow problems where you're, where you're um, modifying a, a given parameter such as the loading in the network 
And um, in this case, for example, you might, uh, you might f increase the loading until the, you see a voltage collapse in the system. Um, so this is the, the famous nose curve. Optimal power flow then, on the other hand, is um, and like an optimal scheduling problem where you have nonlinear constraints in the problem. So we're, say, minimizing the cost of generation, um, subject to the power balance at each node, subject to uh, constraints on the nonlinear branch flows, and um, bounds on the variables, say, the generation limits and voltage limits and so on. Um, so map power includes uh, additions to the standard formulation, such as uh, user supplied additional costs, constraints, and variables, um, allowing the user to, to customize the, the problem that's being solved. Now, the, the latest um, addition to Map Power um, is Map Power Optimal Scheduling Tool, which expands the problem in some other dimensions. So, in around the mid 2000s, we began to shift our work away from the economics experiments that were focused on. Um, optimal power flow problems um, in a single snapshot in time to, to new tools that in, incorporated uncertainty um, for the renewables and uh, security reasons, the temporal dimension, uh, including storage and unit commitment and, and so on. So this results in problems that are very large scale, stochastic, nonlinear, mixed integer, I mean basically all of the, all of the hard stuff. But let me just go through what um, try to describe a, the class of problems that most can handle. So starting with the uh, problems that are a single, uh, single snapshot in time, a single period problem with continuous variables, the simplest one is an economic dispatch. Okay, that's, um, that's no, no network, simply cheapest generation to satisfy the, the, total, the total demand. If you add a linear network model to that, you get a DC optimal power flow or the nonlinear model for an AC optimal power flow. You may add uh, co-optimization of zonal reserves to that to be able to cover some adequacy requirements or, or security of the system. Or another uh, ap approach to the security is to actually explicitly model contingency cases in there. Um, to that we could also add a stochastic dimension of the, say the wind or, or solar uh, sources. And this gives you a, a sort of a, a a picture of sort of all of the different kinds of dimensions on the, of the single period problem that's handled by most. So the original map power covered these, most now covers these. On the left we have problems with a single deterministic system state, on the right problem with multiple uh, probabilistic system states. Now from here we can expand the problem in several other dimensions. You can take any one of these, uh, these uh, nodes here on this, on this graph to represent the problem you're solving at a single, for, for each period, um, or I should say for, uh, yeah, for, for each, each period. So you, um, we can extend it by adding um, integer variables, so integer commitments, um, up at, uh, start up and shut down costs, extend it to multiple periods um, with minimum up and down time constraints, ramping constraints, um, Storage, so this, this gives a, the opp opportunity to, to arbitrage in time um, with storage as well. So this, this is just, these pictures are just kind of give you a, a, an a example of how, uh, of the various dimensions of the problem that can be solved. So a simple tutorial example that's included in the distribution in the manual, I'm just going to flip through very quickly to show how as we add features, the unit commitment can change. So we have a, the blue line is the demand for a 12 hour horizon, the, the, um, at the bottom you see the wind. The, the red here is, the, um, is the, the unit commitment schedule and as I flip through I'll just um, state the added features and you'll see it change. So this is with no network, add a network, start up and shut down costs, minimum up and down times, ramping constraints, storage, and then for uh, adding stochastic wind uh, as well, here's the deterministic version with just a, uh, expected wind as an input. Here's one um, simple model of wind. This is a, a, a different model of wind, adding contingencies for security, adding storage. The, the, the point is that the, the um, optimal unit commitment uh, changes as we do that. 
We've applied this to the 118 bus and a 118 bus system, comparing an, our uh, stochastic to a deterministic model and showing a, a le less cost. Map power is also the basis for uh, underlying a, 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 a tool called East, which you can find at uh, e4st.com. And some future map power directions are listed here. And with that, be happy to take questions. Map power is, as I said, it's available online for free. Anybody who wants to give it a try. <laughs>